This is a practice exercise from page 343 in the textbook. We're looking at the bond angles in propyne. So when we look at the bond angles, really what we're trying to figure out is what is the molecular geometry around the central atoms? So hydrogen is typically not going to be a central atom because it only makes one bond. So when we look at the central atoms, we're going to be taking a look at each of these carbons and then trying to figure out the bond angle between the hydrogen, the carbon, and the hydrogen, and between the carbons and the carbons. Okay, so let's take a look at the first carbon on the left hand side there. So taking a look at this carbon, what we want to figure out is how many electron domains do we have, how many of them are bonding, how many of them are non-bonding. So this carbon here has one, two, three, four electron domains. That means that that carbon is going to have a tetrahedral electron domain. And since all four of those electron domains are bonding, so we have no lone pairs of electrons, that means that this is also the molecular geometry. So if this is the molecular geometry, what that tells us is that these bond angles are 109.5 degrees. So those are the bond angles for a tetrahedral molecule. And you can go ahead and look in your textbook to get a better idea in three dimensions of what a tetrahedron looks like. So again, we've got four electron domains, None of them are non-bonding, they're all bonding, so that means we've got four bonds, so we also have a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and that's going to give us 109.5 degree bond angles. Let's take a look at the next carbon. So looking at this carbon as our central atom, we see that we only have two electron domains. Remember that even though this is a triple bond, it only counts as one electron domain because it's only attached to one atom on the other side. So when we only have two electron domains, that means we're looking at something that is linear. Again, we want to think about how many are bonding, how many are non-bonding, and all of these are bonding. So we have two bonding domains. There are no lone pairs or no non-bonding pairs of electrons on that carbon. And if we have two electron domains, both bonding and we're linear, that means that we are looking at 180 degree bond angles because the furthest apart those two atoms can get from each other is completely opposite, so we're looking at 180 degrees. So that means that the bond angle from hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen here is 109.5 degrees, and the carbon, carbon, carbon bond angle is 180 degrees. So those are our two answers to this question.